Hey there, my name is Anup and welcome back into another video of Taxation Part 2. In this video, we are going to learn about the Enable Master Settings. It is very quite very very important because all Taxation Master Settings are global and it depends on the like you can decide the pricing display strategy using the master settings and how you want to manage the products pricing at the back end. So we will learn all these things in this video. So let's get started. So for this you have to come in the WooCommerce in the settings in the taxation part. If you are not getting this uh, tab then you have to click on journal and then you have to check this simply this check this particular box enable tax and rate calculations then you have to see. Once you will do this you will definitely get this particular tab option and these are the master settings. Here uh, briefly uh, there are text classes at the top except the first one. You can create as many as text classes by just clicking enter one two three four five this and we will learn about this how we can create this and how we can manage more complex text examples so let's uh, quickly understand the master settings first one is the inclusive and exclusive pricing settings that i explained in the first video <laughs> if you have you missed that particular video you can watch from the description i have put the link over there now the if you click on the yes, this means you are using an inclusive means whatever pricing you are uh, putting into your product pricing section, the text will be included into that and user just need to pay that particular amount. So let's not talk about theoretically too much. Let's see a live example to understand it more in a more better way. So this is our product and I have added a price of 1,652 rupees. Now if I will do add to cart and I'll click on view cart option and if you'll see over here uh, whatever price I have added it's I'm getting the same including 252 rupees GST as 18% of GST but if I'll just change this same thing so I clicked on save oh sorry okay. I just clicked so it has been saved and let's refresh the page now I'm getting the price the price has been increased and if I'll check the single product price, the price is this. So now if you'll see, I have changed the strategy or like I'll enter the manually and the price has been changed like the text is extra. Now there is a second option which is very important like if someone comes on your particular single product page then how you want to show the prices like including text or excluding text because see uh, if you go in the market people say like the, if you are taking this particular shawl and they say uh, the price of this particular shawl is uh, 1500 or 1400 and if you want to uh, take uh, text invoices then it will be plus GST or without GST so to attract the client uh, we just want to show the price excluding GST so what you have in the master settings if you go down there is an option of uh, this display price in the shop including text no we just want to show excluding text so we have changed two settings excluding text and exclude excluding text and i want to show i'll enter the pricing we'll save this so we will clearly see the difference you have to just remember what option we have enabled so let's refresh this now we are getting the base price of 1652 rupees so i have entered a price and i have selected an option like this is excluding text so i'm getting the base price over here once i'll do add to card like i'll click over here so i'm getting the with text like text is addition so once so it may confuse to user and you may lose your sale in the e-commerce part because at front to front you can convince to user but it at this time user will some user will be confused like why they are getting this particular price and once they move to the cart they get higher price so the best option what i think in the online market is to sh show the price including text and at the cart you can show the pricing excluding text and let's see but this option first then we will move on the card part so I have saved this particular option and I refreshed this particular page so at the single page I am getting the including text the base price plus text 
the base price plus tax okay, over here uh, I'm also getting the same price so it's not that much confusing so I've I'll move on the card page there is also a little bit uh, improve uh, improvements that we can do like uh, I'm getting the price same because I need to show to the user like you are also getting the taxes including into it so price should be come over here the base price then there should be a tax option also so what I can do uh, over here uh, on the display pricing during the checkout I can select excluding tax so I'll save this particular option and I'll move on this particular page I'll refresh so clearly you can see this the base price is coming right now and GST is coming separately so it's making more clear sense like uh, to for the user and now uh, if you are making a strategy where uh, you are entering the price including text which is very common so you have to click on this particular option then you have to click on save changes then you have to come over here and you have to reference this particular page so if you go on the first page like on the single product page it will show you the price including text because we have selected we have to show the price including text and we have selected the entering strategy is I'll enter including text so I'm getting the base price automatically separated from the price and text has been separated automatically from the price so these options which I left right now I'll cover in the next video because so they are little bit advanced options and it needs some more complex examples to demonstrate their working so that's all see you in the next video and if you like this video you can hit the like button if you have some suggestions you can surely comment if you have some confusions you can also ask in the comment and make sure you subscribe this channel to get more videos on related to e-commerce bye bye thank you see you in the next video